Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschool Ology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four, currently seventh grade, third grade, and then combined pre-K between my five and three year old. So today's video, I will be sharing my upcoming fourth graders uh, curriculum picks for the new school year. I shared my eighth graders. I'll link the video here and down in the comments if you are interested in seeing that, but this is what we will be doing for fourth grade. First up, math. So if you saw all my videos before, you know she was telling me that she wanted to go back to teaching textbooks. We did a trial run of that and she decided, you know what? I remember why I don't like teaching textbooks. I don't wanna do that. I wanna stick with Matthew C. So she is currently in Gamma. She'll be finishing it up this year. So she will be moving on to Delta um, from Matthew C. So it's a great program. It's always tried and true. It's something we always come back to. She decided, you know what? this is working for me so that is what we're going to be using moving on to language arts so she's been using pinwheels you know how much i love pinwheels it's amazing i have more i have a video coming out on level four really really soon so make sure you hit that notification bell to see that and while you're hitting that notification bell i'd love it for you to hit that subscribe button as well and give this video a thumbs up if you like the content it really does help us youtubers out but I wanted, I looked at the wand because that would be like the next progression and I love Rooted in Language so much and I think it's such a great fit, but it is designed for um, a level that I just think she's, she's moved beyond at this point. So I think we are going to go ahead and jump on over into Brave Writer. Um, we've been using Brave Writer with her older sister for a long time. Um, we like it. We, it, it's working great. and. And it's very similar to the pen wheels. Um, if you don't know, the lady who um, designed the wand program actually originally designed it for Brave Rider. Um, Brave Rider has since given it back to her, um, and then they created pen wheels that kind of is like the step, you know, the beginning step. And so the wand and pen wheels are owned by Rooted in Language, and then the next step would be the Brave Rider um, darts that you know that's kind of like in the progression so we are going to go ahead and jump over to those darts um this is an arrow but it's what i have out with me right now um but we, we will be doing the dart level but we will probably be sticking mostly with the literary guides i do have jot it down and the one that comes after jot it down jot it down and partnership writing um and so we may pull up a couple of activities from that but we've already done a couple before um and so i don't we might pull some of the other ones we might not um i don't think we're going to do too much focused heavy writing with her next year um just kind of like what comes up in in our other activities that we're going to be doing um i have seen a benefit with delaying like formal writing information like with my oldest daughter and so I think I'm going to continue that with her. There may be a few things that I pull here and there. I might look into using the Evan Moore's um, like real world writing. I um, I think I bought that and so we might use some pieces from that. But we're not going to have like a heavy, heavy focus on writing. Um, so we'll be doing the literary guides. Um, and we will be using uh, Fix-It Grammar. Now this is, I haven't bought this yet for either of my daughter's new year. This is my daughter's current, my older daughter's one, level three. I will be doing level one with my fourth grader next year. Um, I love the Fix-It fix -It Grammar program. And I found that using Brave Writer Literary Guides and Fix-It Grammar together is like the perfect combo. Um, and so it just is what is working the best for us. So we are going to continue doing that for both of my older girls. We will also start sequential spelling level one with her um, next year because I think she is ready for some some dedicated spelling practice. Um, so I do have a video on this um, talking about like how I really do like it. Obviously, we're going to still be using it. I love it. Um, but I wish it had spelling rules and I am still looking into how I want to address that. So if when I do, I will, of course, let you guys know. And then last but not least, we will be doing continuing root words. We've been doing the beginning level this year. We will move on to level one. Really like those programs. We'll be continuing on with those programs um, with my daughters. 
So that is language arts. That's what she will be doing. Moving on to history slash science. The reason I'm doing it like that is because I have developed a plan to combine, like we're gonna be kind of learning the history of science alongside the history of, you know, earth or the world. Um, and so my daughter, my older daughter, my eighth, my eighth grader will be kind of doing a little bit more like in depth, but my younger daughter, I'm gonna be pulling her in here and there to learn about these things. So we are going to be learning or using a combination of Big History Project, which I'll link up here because it's an online program. She might not do, that's why I'm feeling like she might not do a ton of stuff with us. Like we, she might watch the videos with us, but maybe not do the activities or, or whatnot. I haven't like a hundred percent fully come up with my plan yet. And of course when I do, I'll be sharing it, but we will be combining that big history project with Build Your Library's History of Science. Now, this is this is a lot. I printed this out. This is a lot because this is a full year program. This is um, not and not just for science or history or it's science, history, language arts, you know, all of it, art, all of it. So we will be pulling only the history and science from here and maybe occasional art projects because they might go along with what we are um, learning. Um, and so I, that is all I'll be pulling from here. We will not be doing the literature unless I feel like the literature would benefit us in the history and science that we're doing. So, but basically we'll be combining this with Big History Project and um, Curiosity Chronicles. I did post a video uh, about the history. I shared it up there, but since my since then I've changed my mind. Um, and But we are still gonna be using Curiosity Chronicles and I was able to pick it up um, on sale. And so it might still be on sale if you guys go check, but we will be using Curiosity Chronicles. And so this is where I'm sure my fourth grader will be joining us doing the Curiosity Chronicles. So History of Science, um, Build Your Library, which uses the History of Science course books, uh, Big History Project. She might be joining in on those things, but she'll definitely be doing Curiosity Chronicles. And I may or may not be picking up this um, Layers of Learning art. What I need to do is go through the Build Your Library and see if I feel like that's enough art. And if it's not, I'll be pulling this in because this goes does art through history, which I thought was really, really cool. So maybe that. But we will definitely be pulling in science chunks as we are coming across those science topics in our history of science. We will be pulling science chunks to use for them. I did go ahead and pick up the first year, um, which I do, I, I think I'm gonna like it. So I might go ahead and pick up year two and year three should be coming out here pretty soon. Um, and so we will be using these. So far, just skimming over it and skimming over the ones that I thought would be would be most problematic. I haven't seen anything that doesn't seem to be secular. So, but of course, if I see that, I'll be letting you guys know because Elemental Science is not a secular company. Um, but I will keep you guys posted as I. Sorry, battery died. I was saying I will keep you guys posted if I come across anything. Um, one last thing before I move on, I did uh, put this in as. Or I did pick this up as well because it was on sale and I really have always wanted to see what it's about. And um, so I might be pulling this in. I definitely think I'm going to be pulling in the history hops out of here, but I might be pulling this in every so often. I got the audiobooks. So we might listen to them while we're doing art projects or things like that. So um, this you might see coming up too. And of course, I will be having a video coming out that compares History Quest and Curiosity Chronicles when I have everything here. I'm still waiting on my textbook from Curiosity Chronicles. So that is history. That is going to be kind of like the main check of our learning. You know, we kind of like unit studies. This is kind of like basically a giant unit study. It's probably going to take us two years. Um, so that's what we'll be doing for that. That ties in history, geography, science, all of it. Um, the only other thing that I'm going to be adding in is Woven Melodies because I picked it up last year when it was on sale. And we haven't started it yet. And I think this one would be really fun to do as a whole family project because if you hadn't heard, like if you haven't been around, you haven't seen any of my videos where I've been you know, talking about all this, I wanted to do history as a full family subject. I don't know that that's gonna happen with what I've decided to do. So it might kind of more focus on my bigger girls and I do want something that we can do all together. So I think that is gonna be the woven melodies and then I might, I'll have my littlest to join in where it's appropriate with our art and science and history um, program, you know, where it makes sense for them to join in. So 
I know that I said that was last, but I forgot about the uh, philosophy for kids. We're about halfway through this, maybe a little bit more than halfway through this book. Um, we read, we do a lesson, like a week, a lesson out of it once a week, but um, we go really slowly because we don't do it every week because we get sidetracked or we don't make it to it or we didn't homeschool that week. Or, um, But David A. White did message me and tell me he has a second book that he has put out. So I will be picking that up and definitely be using that after this because you know we love it. I have a review of it down below. I'll post it um, and maybe up here if I haven't run out of <laughs> time cards. Um, and so we'll definitely be picking that up. When I get it, I will be sharing that with you guys. So I think that is it for my third grader. Or oh, gosh, she'll be a fourth grader. I think that is all. And so I hope you guys found any of that helpful. I, of course, will be doing more in-depth um, looks at all of these things coming out throughout the next few months into the next year. And I think that's all I'm going to share with you guys today. So uh, don't forget, you can always... Um, ask me any questions you have down in the comments while you're down there. I hope you would subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at homeschoolology. You can always DM me over there if you would like to chat about anything. And I think that's all I'm going to share with you guys today. So I hope you'll come back and chat with me again soon. Bye.